Hello friends, welcome to this video. Today I'm super excited to continue my series on Project Copper, which is my um, basically pet project like Wings of Fire but for adults, Fourth Wing without the humans, just a, a fantasy book about dragons with intricate politics, drama, probably some romance, and if I ever get around to actually writing it, a writing style more geared towards adults than children. Basically, for all the dragon nerds who grew up, and now you realize that they don't really make books that are just about dragons with no humans for your, your new expanded adult mind, okay? Am I the only one with this problem? Um, anyway, side note, if you do know of a book that is about dragons, it can have humans in it. If it has dragons and it's more for adults than teens or kids, please let me know. Please, I, I need these books. And if not, let's all write some. Let's all write some. Anyway, this drawing started out as Tern. Uh, from Fourth Wing because I was going to talk about book two, which is Iron Flame, but I just, you know, I lost some motivation. And then I realized that the entire time that I was drawing Taren, I was channeling this other character. It's hard to explain, but it's almost like while I was trying to draw Taren, I couldn't help but draw this other character who is part of Project Copper and his name is Kaylin. Now, in the previous video, I talked about my, in my mind, she's the main character, but she's only one of several POV characters, and Kaylin is actually another one of the POV characters. Also, Princess Kijani is no longer going to be named Kijani. I still haven't thought of a new name for her. I'm horrible with names. Any suggestions, please let me know. But yes, this guy's name is Kaylin. I actually drew him... <laughs> A million years ago. Let me see if I can find that drawing to show you. Woohoo! There he is! It looks like I first came up with him in 2019. Jeez, that's that's way longer than I thought it was, but um, in case you wanted to see how much I've progressed in my art in five years, there you go. In any case, I wanted to talk about Kaylin next after the princess because Kaylin is where the story starts to get more complicated. Way back, even in the version of the story that I first came up with five years ago and then never really touched until I started watching Bridgerton, he was always supposed to be part of this faction that wants to overthrow the king and, you know, also the princess. So here's where the story starts to get political. I'm not used to writing, like, political intrigue and so this is the beginning of it we can add layers later and i think we should but here's the start of it is that kaylin's dad is a very very powerful duke who has a ton of money that he got through trade maybe even illegal means that would be super interesting illicit magic who knows um but yeah he thinks that he should be king because he wants power, he wants, you know, the most for his children, and the most would literally be being royalty. Okay, so anyway, Kaelin is the son of this duke who wants to overthrow the king. Kaelin is, I'm not sure actually if Kaelin knows this yet, and I think it could be be interesting both to have him know the whole time that he's part of this coup or to realize later that he's part of this coup because part of the story that I wanted to tell is a bit of a coming coming of age story with these dragons especially with the princess anyway because one of the major conflicts that I want to be in this book remember I came up with these ideas while watching Bridgerton okay so obviously He's in love with the princess, right? Duh. Also, he hates her because she's so insufferably prickly, right? Um, and then we have this added layer of she's supposed to be his enemy, right? And then one thing that I have figured out, like, that maybe the start of why he began to actually like her is... I talked about these dragons also going to a battle mage school, and I think at some point in this battle mage school, 
First of all, backstory, Kalen is the nerd. He studies hard, he's super smart, and he wants to be super good at this battle mage stuff because this is the key to him and his family getting more power, right? But also, it's not super easy for him. He has to study really hard, and he does, and he works his butt off, and he's really, really good. And the story goes, he's working after hours one day in a lab somehow because, you know, that's just where my brain goes naturally. And something goes wrong with one of his experiments. And the dragon who saves him is the princess. And he's almost like, how dare you, how, how can she be the one who saves me? She is at the bottom of the class. She's never had to work for anything in her life, he thinks, in his mind. So he's like embarrassed. He's jealous of the efficacy with which she wielded her magic in that moment. Because, guys, she thinks she's horrible at magic, but actually she's just a late bloomer or something like that. Something? We gotta add a level of complexity to this. Does any of this make sense? Is this all just the ramblings of a madwoman? Who knows? Anyway, ever since then, he's been kind of infatuated and he hates it and it's horrible. But also, it's kind of understandable, right? Yeah. Let me know if you think he should already know that his dad is planning a coup or if he should find that out during the story and you get to experience that in his POV as he's being told this. If you care, you know? If you don't care, that's also totally fine. Anyway, also to clarify, I just re-looked at my document and I think the princess, her, her deal with magic is that she was just a super late bloomer she is learning, but not very fast. Everybody else like knew they were a mage probably since they could walk, and she's just starting out with the ba basics as a teen, basically, or a young adult. Let's say young adult, okay? No offense, teens, but you know, I'm so old. I'm so sorry. I hope you know I'm just making fun of myself for being old. Not, not you guys. I was a teen once. Okay, anyway. And so being basically a baby mage, her being able to save Kaylin is like, what, what, how could, how could she do that? That's basically not fair when he's had to work his whole life to be able to do that kind of stuff. Okay, anyway, those are the thoughts that I have for Kaylin. Um, and this is what he looks like, sort of. He actually is supposed to have a black marking on his face, like a mask. And his limbs are supposed to also fade to black, but I was lazy, so I didn't do that part. Yeah, most of him I actually drew at work. So don't, I was, I was doing work, okay? I was doing something where you kind of have to wait for one minute and like, what am I supposed to do for one minute? So I drew in the one minute increments instead of just staring at the computer screen and waiting to push a button. Science is great, guys. Okay, anyway, please let me know what you think of Kaylin. His, I didn't even really get to explain his personality, but he's definitely also prickly and um, quite a bit stuck up. So a fun match for the princess. Also just anger and probably cunning and political leanings, you know? Okay, sorry. If you have any other ideas for... Caitlin's backstory, I gotta think about what his dad should be like. I think his dad's gonna be pretty domineering. I have too many ideas for the amount of footage that I have for you. In any case, if you have any ideas, share them. Ideas for other characters that you think could be in the story. Ideas for scenes between Caitlin and the princess. Anything. Even ideas for other series I should do on this channel. Let me know. I always love to hear your ideas. And just thank you for watching. I hope that this video brought any amount of entertainment to your lovely brain. I was blown away by how much you guys seemed to like the previous video in this series. And it made me super happy because, I don't know, I feel like we're all that weird dragon kid, right? But we can be that weird dragon kid together. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I hope you're having a good day or night or you know, whatever, and I'll see you around.